This is all the remains of Broomhill House, a one stately pile at Larkhall in Lanarkshire. It is said to be haunted by the Black Lady, but I detect another presence here. I have an appointment at this ruin with a man with a strange hobby. He exorcises ghosts. That's to say, he ends their existence, if existence is the right word to use about ghosts, if there are ghosts. It's more than 30 years since Fife Robertson and Tom Robertson, no relation, tried to exorcise the black lady. Tom has come back to Broomhill to tell me about the ghost and his life's work. Tom, how long have you been a psychic investigator? Well, the best part of 55, 56 years. When did you first come into contact with the black lady? Oh, my childhood. I was going back to, I was about near enough seven years of age when I first met the black lady here where I was standing. You see, in this place was surrounded by orchards, which is boys. It wasn't ghosts we were looking for, it was apples and pears mm -hmm. out the orchards. And we're running smack into her this day. Mm -hmm. I can assure you, we never come back for the apples or the pears <laughs> after that. <laughs> Me and hers had run in battles for many years. Why, why, why you? Why is she? I don't know. I think she just seems to recognise what I am, and <coughs> she just decided that I was the person that she wanted. Would it have anything to do with the fact that you try to exercise in 1963 with Faith Robertson, would that, would that have provoked her or...? Well, I don't know, she always had an attraction, kept drawing me back to this place. Earthbound spirit, what ails you? Why are you so earthbound? Tell me why you cannot get away. Do you hear me? Contact me, tell me the reasons why you are earthbound. Are you getting anywhere, Tom? No, I'm not, I'm not getting anywhere at the moment. I just we went to do the first live exorcism for television. It was Fife Robertson, the old Tonight Team. It'd been well over 30 years ago. That was the next time I had to encounter her. An encounter her we did. She took a toll of us that day. The location, the director. The well, fencing post actually came through the windscreen of his car straight through his body and straight through the seat of his car, pinning him there in a macabre death. Mm, I don't and think I've... this mob should be driving home later on, actually. Well, we're any spirits in them anyway, I wouldn't advise it. <laughs> Lord, free this spirit from its earthbound ways. Amen. Has anything happened this time, Tom? Yes, we had more success this time. She's going. She's gone. She's gone? She's gone. Yes, she's gone. Well, uh, now, how do you know that? And more to the point, how do your clients know that? Have they just got to take your word for it? No, well, my fee is £2.10 an hour for exercising a ghost. Mm -hmm. And I don't get paid till uh, six months lapse, lapses. And if the ghost doesn't return within six months, well, I receive my fee then. But if it does return, well, I go back and do the job for nothing. Tom couldn't have got his two pounds and ten shillings from Fife Robertson because, according to Tom, the black lady later attacked him. Tom was helping to carry the lintel of the old house to a local pub where it was to be built into a fireplace. As we left the place, the stone, the lintel, which weighs well, the close in half a ton, ten hundred weight anyway, followed out in the air, about three feet from the ground, come straight through and went for me and smashed my spine up outside the 